Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dinesh Shajir and today we will be talking about how to determine dielectric strength of insulating liquids utilizing the methods that are recommended in the ASTM standard. Uh, in this webinar we will be talking about various different topics. We will start uh, with, the, uh, with the introduction as why and where we use the insulating oils. Uh, uh, then we will talk about why there is a need to do the oil testing. Uh, we will talk about some of the applicable standards pertaining to the testing of oil. Uh, we will talk about how or what is the what are the recommended methods uh, to be used when you are out in the field taking an oil sample. Then we will cover two of the ASTM standards that recommends how to perform the dielectric breakdown test on insulating liquids. And in the end, we would wrap up uh, by, by talking about the recommendations from, from ASTM D3487 and IEEE C57.106 that tells us uh, what are the recommended limits that we should use to determine if the dielectric strength of the oil is acceptable or not. When we talk about oil, uh, we use it in various different electrical apparatus. Uh, when you go to a substation, there are high voltage equipment that are operating at, at various different loading conditions. And during that, that uh, online operation, they need some sort of insulating medium to either separate the winding or to to separate the uh, the load side from the source side. So in those kind of uh, electrical apparatus, we use insulating oil to provide as an insulating medium. And you will find number of different uh, apparatus or, or electrical assets where we will use, uh, where we do use insulating oil. And some of those are listed here like power transformers, circuit breakers, bushings, CTs, and so on. In addition to acting as an insulating medium, it serves, uh, the insulating oil serves another function which is acting as a cooling agent. Uh, we all know that uh, when, when transformer is operating uh, at its rated uh, load condition, it's going to generate a lot of uh, heat because of, of high temperature. And when they, you have a circulating oil inside the transformer, it kind of cools down, dissipates that heat, dissipates that energy, and reduces the temperature level. So it serves both purposes. It acts as, a, as an insulating medium as well as it's a cooling agent. And one of the other reasons why we are talking about insulating oil is that uh, it has higher dielectric strength compared to some other uh, dielectric medium that are available. So it's a very commonly used insulating medium in many electrical apparatus. Talking about uh, oil testing, one of the nice thing is that there are a number of different tests that are available that can be performed to check the condition of the of the oil and to see whether it would serve the, the remaining service life or it needs to be taken care of or I have need or I need to take some corrective action. One of the other advantages is that in order for me to do the testing on oil, majority of the times I don't have to take the, the, the electrical apparatus offline. I can take an oil sample while the, the, the instrument or while the, uh, uh, the electrical apparatus is, is energized. And using that oil sample, I can perform a number of different tests to determine whether I have some moisture or contamination present in oil, or uh, I can find out uh, what is the dielectric strength of the insulating oil. 